Welcome back everyone. Well, I didn't like the whole video I'd done trying to hook this stuff up. So I'm going to go back through everything and show you guys how I hooked everything up and how it works. And this way, if you guys want to do it yourself, you can. Or if you want to buy a third function valve kit from somebody else, you can do that too. But it does work on the 3025D. So to sort of recap just a little bit, um, Summit Hydraulics third function universal valve kit 15 gallon per minute flow is the one that i bought to do this the grapple is from skid steer attachments depot it's a 60 inch grapple now to sort of show what all i done and and how it all works i'll go over the from the valve to the grapple first and then we'll go into the whole details on how it's all plumbed in and how i got there now my wires i just have them hooked to the battery for right now i want to try to hook it to the fuse box or block whatever you want to call it uh, if i can get the terminals and all that to do so so first off you have ports a and b here on the top and those lines come out then i have them routed down the loader arm All the way down to here i did offset this to the one side of center because the lines here come off to the one side that i'm probably gonna end up getting some rubber and put between the hose clamps and the steel lines just as a precaution these lines here well all the all the hydraulic lines that i had made were three eighths hydraulic lines i have a 90 there and a 45 over there the reason for choosing the 45 is for one is where it puts it out around that 90 instead of coming up over it and two they didn't have another 90. back here on the valve these are just straight fittings on both of them so that covers that part it's pretty straightforward on from the valve up front i mean it's really simple okay so there's three lines that hook up to the loader valve Trying to figure out which one did what was sort of a problem that I had. And I had to go through um, some parts diagrams to figure that out. Anyways, you have one line that comes from the transmission to the loader valve. One line that goes from the loader valve back to the transmission. And then that one will actually continue back to your RCV, which is your rear control valve. And then the third line is your oil return. Now, my original intent was to have a, a closed center valve, and I was going to tie into the supply line from the transmission to the valve, and then tie into the oil return, and that would go back. I um, had some issues trying to figure or find the valve that I wanted to use, so I ended up going with the universal kit, and it's a tandem spool um, as far as the center position. So... P will flow to T constantly. And that's what you want to do in the power beyond setup. So the line that comes from the loader valve and goes back to the rear control valve, that's the line I'm replacing and putting this valve in series. So then over here on this side of the loader valve, I don't know if you can see in between there, that's used to be a steel line that used to run down through here and down back to the transmission so i screwed up when i was doing this when i was making my lines because it was two degrees outside and it was cold and i was getting cold but anyways this line was supposed to go over to here and this one was supposed to go to here now with that being a tandem center spool it really shouldn't matter and it doesn't because it works so this line goes to here coming from the valve coming from the loader valve it comes back down to here goes in through the valve and then back down this line and i have it run down around underneath and back up to the transmission and i hope you guys can see where i have that attached at there's the two lines that come out there the there's a green one and then the hose that i just put on 
I did have to pull this rear tire off to install that. It, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot to do that, but I did have to. It was a whole lot easier to hook it up. And I did not lose a whole lot of fluid by doing that. Now, the way I was wanting this grapple to work was I was wanting to be able to open and close at the same time of doing another function. And I tried it at idle and it really, it was, it was really slow. Um, so we're going to try it at high RPM and see if I can open and close the grapple while doing another function at the same time. That was sort of the reason I did not want the diverter valve set up. So let's try that out and see if that works. And I'll try to sort of show you also about trying to use the three point and using the loader at the same time on how, um, since the float is being used up here at the loader, it's not wanting to be used back here because there isn't, a, you know, a substantial amount of flow. I mean, these tractors are only made to flow so much fluid. It's not like a, uh, like a skid steer or a piece of construction equipment to where it has a really high flow pump. But most of the time, whenever I'm doing something, I'm not trying to use the loader and the three point at the same time anyways. I just want the grapple to work. So I'm gonna start it up. And we'll see if we can't do that and then i'll try to show you the where the flow will be reduced with i'm trying to pick the loader up and then the three point's going to want to not really want to pick up i mean and i've done it all at idle so maybe at higher rpms maybe it'll work better i don't know so let's see if it works bit more rpm and you can't open and close the grapple at the same time as curling or whatever hopefully you guys are able to see i was actually trying to lift that three point up whenever i had the loader all the way up and the three point would not pick up until either i let some flow go back to that power beyond circuit or until i went all the way back into the neutral position of the valve then the three point would pick up hopefully you guys can see that and the reason for that is all my flow was being diverted somewhere else and since that is down line of the system the flow was being taken away from there now the grapple seems to be a little bit slow compared to everything else and i think sort of the reason for that is is because of the size lines that they have on the grapple um if it had bigger lines it'd probably work faster because there would be more flow going to it or maybe they have restrictors in there i i don't know just that way it doesn't go too fast i i don't know but if you reduce your flow that's going to reduce your speed hopefully that makes sense to you guys um so things that i would do different as far as this whole setup um as far as where that fitting goes on the side of the transmission it's a little tight in there uh, i don't know if i can get an extension up from that now those fittings on the transmission and on the loader valve are orfs fittings uh, john deere does have them 
that's where I went and got the hoses made. I figured they had most of the fittings. That way I wouldn't have to chase around town. Um, other than that, I mean, it seems to work good so far. I'm not really going to be using it a whole lot right now. I think it was like, I don't know, one degree this morning or as I'm doing this video. So it's a little chilly. I'm going to use the tractor enough to clear the drive. But other than that, I'm not, I'm not going to get out there and play around with it today. Uh, I'll wait for a warmer day. So if there's any questions that you guys have, throw them in the comments. I'll try to answer them you know the best that i can and if i can't i'll try to find you the information tell you what as long as my wires don't come off as i'm going over here we'll try a little something just just so we can say we did something right all right give me a minute <laughs> It's gonna take me a little bit to figure out how to use that thing, you know, and be proficient at it. But I'm gonna get the driveway cleared off and call it a day. Go somewhere warm for a little bit. So you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. I should probably put that at the front of my videos instead of at the end of the videos, but yeah, I don't know. All right. Hopefully you guys can see this and maybe this will help explain some of um, how this is working. So normally if this was not here, this would go back to your third function, or not your third function, but your three point. So what I did is basically put this in series of that. So since your power is coming in here or your hydraulic flow is coming in here if you're using it on any of this stuff it's going to be used here before it continues on to anything else downstream maybe that'll help explain some of that that uh, I was trying to explain earlier now that diagram is on some hydraulics website if you go to that 15 gallon per minute valve and you scroll down through there that's on there with a couple other diagrams on how to hook this valve up maybe that helped maybe it didn't i don't know